Hi, caught me playing some pinball. Welcome to Richie D and... Tank Talk. Hi guys, today we're gonna to talk about water changes. The importance of water changes in your fish tank. You should change at least 30% of your water once a month or you can take 15% out every two weeks which totals 30% a month. The importance of water changes is to get the impurities out of your tank to reduce the buildup of nitrates, nitrites and ammonia. It will help with the clarity of your fish tank and also will help to keep your fish disease free, happy and healthy. Okay, now that you're doing a water change, now is a good time to vacuum your gravel, to clean the impurities out of the gravel. I like to use this Aquion gravel vac. It's real easy to use. You just work it in and out of the rocks and it's gonna pull off all the fish waste up and out of the tank. Also, it's a good time to clean your glass or acrylic. I happen to have acrylic. Some of my other tanks are glass. This acrylic tank, I use this uh, acrylic safe scraper. Doesn't scratch the acrylic and ruin the acrylic. You don't want to do that. Um, if you have a glass tank, they, they sell, and I have one, it's like two magnets, one magnet on each inside and out, and you work them up and back, and it scrapes the glass and cleans all of the uh, built up algae and such off of the glass. Also, it's a great time when you're putting the water back in the tank, after that's all in, you want to use Stress Coat. I like Stress Coat Plus. It helps to make your uh, tap water safe. It takes out chlorine and chloramine, it says. It detoxifies all heavy metals. It has uh, aloe vera in it. Uh, it's proven to reduce fish stress, and it uh, replaces the slime coat on your fish. You gotta get this stuff, Stress Coat Plus. Also, sometimes it helps if the water seems a little cloudy, if you stir up too much uh, stuff out of the rocks, you can use uh, some of this uh, water clarifier. You just put uh, so many milliliters per gallon, it gives you all the ex uh, explanation on here. You put that in there and um, it kind of coats all of the uh, like dusty uh, cloudiness and makes it a little thicker. It congeals it so that the filter can pull it out and it'll make your tank really clear. It's, it's uh, pretty nice stuff and it doesn't hurt the fish either. Okay, a few side notes. Now that you're uh, changing your water, you want to make sure that the water you replace into the tank is the same temperature as the water you took out of the tank. Check your thermometer on your tank and match the water from the faucet to the uh, temperature of the water in your tank so that the fish don't get stressed out, that you don't want them to get ick. It's, it's just good to have the water at the same temperature. Also, you can do a test strip. Uh, I use these five-in-one test strips. Uh, these will help you uh, check on the nitrates, nitrites, hardness, alkalinity, and the pH. If anything's out of whack, follow the directions and they'll help you to get things back in order. Last but not least, filter maintenance. It's a good time to do filter maintenance, but not on the week that you do a water change. You're going to want to do it on your off weeks. So uh, check your filter on the off weeks. You're going to go through, uh, uh, clean your floss, clean your charcoal, uh, clean your filter cartridges or replace any of all of the above and uh, make sure you never touch your bio wheel that has good uh, bacteria growing on it and it helps your tank to stay in balance. So don't clean that because it will ruin the uh, bio wheel. I enjoy talking with you. Join me for more future videos and have a good time in the hobby. Thank you. And now, what did you learn? How much and how often should I do a water change in my tank? A. 75% once a year, B, 30% once a month, C, 40% twice a month, D, when the water gets cloudy and yellowed. 30% once a month, B. When replacing the water in your tank, you want to A, 
use cool water to relax the fish, B, use warm water to kill the bacteria, C, match the temperature to the existing water, D, use the same water you took out. Match the temperature to the existing water, C. After a water change, why do I need to use a test kit to test the water? A, because the box I got with the tank told me to. B, I like to see the cool color changes on the test strips. C, it will tell me if my fish are pregnant. D, poor water quality can cause fish stress, illness, and even death. D, poor water quality can cause fish stress, illness, and even death.